Am I supposed to be at the la- oh wait, wait. Let me save the game before something- I do something dumb. And I will do something dumb. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, not that, not that. Fine. Then, we'll meet in the lounge after school. Okay, let's hang out with him. Hi. I've been waiting, Harko Dono. Uh, let us be off to the home economics room. Let's go talk to Bebe. Yes. Sewing is much fun, and I sew so to my heart's content. Sew it, knit it, and finally, weave it together. Today our work is done. Vinny. Nice. Say, could we go to the tea shop, Azuki Arai, together? Let's go. It would be my first time going. Will you maybe, uh, how do you say, show me the ropes? Sounds good. Oh, you are my hero. Kataja Kanai. Takora, let's be off then. We'll go together, my Tomodachi. My Tomodachi. Mm. The Azuki desserts here are amazing. Red bean is so oishi. I do love red bean. I love the culture of Nihon. Japan is sugoi. Amazing. <laughs> I totally agree. Yes, you understand. Japanese culture is number one. Ichiban. I am so happy I came here. Okay. I want to learn everything about Nihon and become Japanese. Become Japanese? What do you mean? Oh, are you like a res? What do you mean? What? Thank you for joining me today. I won't forget your kindness. Uh, okay. I have an aunt who lives back home. She has been helping me. I have to tell her that I've made a wonderful new Tamodachi. Baby seems really grateful. It, does he mean Japanese citizen? Because it seems like he already is. But if he means Japanese, uh, I mean, I don't know your mother and father, so I don't know. But I wanted to ask you more about Nihon. I must dream a bit longer, I suppose. We'll continue our Japanese adventure another time. See you later. Okay. All right. What's this about this ghost story? As we agreed on Monday, we'll now hold a meeting to discuss what we've learned. Wow, you're really into this. Of course I am. I got lots of good info. And it turns out there was no angry ghost involved. Huh, so that's what's important, huh? <laughs> First off, let's talk about how this rumor got started. The girl was found on the school grounds, so it does match the ghost story on that point. But why did the rumor spread so fast if this was the first time anything happened? There were three victims. Correct. But yeah, I was surprised when I found out. After that first incident, the exact same thing happened to two other students. All three victims had to be hospitalized. No wonder people thought it was a ghost. Yeah, okay, if it was just one person, on. it wouldn't really do much. The victims were all in different classes, and at first glance, they don't seem to be connected. But they did have one thing in common. Anyone know what it was? What is this? A quiz show? Do you know? What did all three victims have in common? Same symptoms. They ate out a lot? <laughs> Well, they obviously went to our school, but I think they hung out together. Hmm. Yep, 
That's right. Not just once or twice, either. They all got in with a bad crowd and were always out late. Considering they all ended up the same way, it can't just be a coincidence. Mm -hmm. So, to find out what happened, we're gonna do some field research. What? Field research? Yep. Yep. There's one place where all three victims were regulars. Whoa, hang on. You're not talking about that spot behind Port Island Station, are you? Oh, you know about it? Dude, you can't go there. Oh, let me guess. That's where the rough, uh, the rough crowd lives? I've heard all kinds of nasty rumors about that place. Oh, really? Well, then all the more reason we should go together. You're coming with, right? Of course. Now we're talking. Oh, man. I don't know about this. That place is seriously bad news. Rough crowd over there. Do we really have to go there? Up until now, all we've done is follow orders. Isn't it about time we start thinking for ourselves? Well played. I know what you mean, but... Man, you have to say it like that. I guess I don't have a choice, do I? Then it's settled. We'll go tomorrow night, so plan accordingly. Go tomorrow night. Plan accordingly. Isn't this matching up with the week that that one kid was talking about? That he was saying at the end at the end of the week the full moon will rise? I mean it matches perfectly. Oh maybe. Seems like you went digging for info too, Mukun. You answered all of my questions. You know what that means. Drop your pants. Here, you can have this. It's a little prize for keeping your promise. Yes, yes, yes. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I don't want to drink. I want to give you a drink. You answered all my questions. Ah, oh, yeah. Let me take off this shirt, my guy. Here's a here's a Reese's Pieces, and I'm just like, give me that. <laughs> fucking Reese's Pieces. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> walk away and I'm just like <laughs> I aggressively rip the Reese's pieces and I'm just like I don't think he and she's like I don't think he liked the Reese's pieces it's just my guess just uh just a random guess let's study Come on, academics, go up to genius, baby. <sighs> Almost there. And Saturday. Here we go. I have to remember that I have plans tonight, of course. Okay, so I can do something after school, and then the evening, I, yeah. Sorry, I want my academics up. And since, since going to the library don't do shit, I'm going to go to, listen, uh, I, I, listen, this girl's great and all, I love her, she's wholesome, and I love her, but Kitty Joe, the stoic, uh, red-haired, she's got red hair, she's got high heels, I love her voice, she's stoic, and, and she's got a motorcycle, and she hits all the spots. She, she I mean, she hits all the spots. 
Uh, let's go. We need to, I know, I know. We gotta go to all these places, but I gotta get my academics up. Oh, wrong place. Um, trust me, I do want to go to those academics. Do you think I enjoy eating these only to get two points of... Let me just do it. Prodigy Platter. Get those points up. There we go. You thought studying was going to make you smart? Dumb. You need brain food. And then automatically you will know how to... I don't know. Alright, it's time. Go to space. Make an engine. Shouldn't we talk about this some more? I still think this is a bad idea. How are you scared of ghosts, but totally fine with this? That's a very good question, actually. Because stuff you can't see is way creepier. Actually, I'm more worried about the things I can't see. Like bats. And knives. Yo, getting... Let me tell you a small personal story, and I don't like to share stories with you guys about my personal life. Let me tell you something. I have been in fights, and trust me, there was one moment when somebody got a little too angry, they, they busted out something sharp. That shit was so close to getting me that it wasn't even funny. If my friend wasn't there, I would have a hole in me right now, but that was, that's a long time ago. I don't like to talk about this shit, but yeah, I, I'm not afraid of knives and I'm not paralyzed with the uh, knives a little bit traumatic about it, but I'm not going to go like, oh, shop Arjix. Oh, oh, it brings me back to, no, it's just be careful with knives. Big deal. So it's a little dangerous. Oh, uh, okay. Come on. Let's strike while the iron's hot. Strike? After you. Oh, now I'm the leader? <laughs> You should try gathering information at the outskirts of the station. Oh, now we're kind of hanging out now? Yo, are they walking with me? Yo, that's cool. Oh, it's the dream team. Sheesh, you guys are always together. What's up? Hold on. You're not really going to Port Island Station right now, are you? Haven't you heard the reports? It's super unsafe. Also, why did you say it like that? Girl, get get some friends of your own. Come on now. Don't don't be like that. The hell are you kids doing out here this late? You delinquents keep loitering in the wrong places. Getting up to God knows what. Whichever one of your gang wears the heavy clothes is uh, covering his tattoos. Tell him I got my eye on him. Now scram! I'll call the cops. Wait, seriously? Did you stop complaining already? It'll be nothing. All we have to do is take the monorail to the station. You know, Yucatan, you might actually be scarier than the punks we're about to run into. Oh, this is my kind of neighbor. See, this is where I used to live. The hell are these guys? Um. Check out those rags. They're from Gecko High. Oh man, this is even worse than I thought. What? It'll be fine. You must have taken a wrong turn. This place ain't for you, buddy. 
The fuck are you gonna do about it? Uh, well, uh, I... Bro, how are you, how are you gonna how are you gonna get instigate with us with those shoes? What are those? What I'm saying is, you being here is ruining our vibe. You're ruining your vibe? Beat it, goatee. Goatee? Goatee? Oh, he does have a goatee. Oh, <laughs> you mean me? We don't need your permission to be here. Hey, are you nuts? Read the room, won't you? I can read just fine. Oh, gosh. Come on. Don't be intimidated by these punks. True. What'd you just say? She just called us punks. Come on. Let's post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. Hope you've been practicing your sexy poses. The hell does that even mean? <laughs> oh boy, that's too good. I'm about to push this bitch into that fucking can. She should be tumbling underneath that can. These guys are scum. Oh, so now we're scum, huh? And also you're a punk. It also says right here that you're a punk. I mean, th there's nothing we can do. Man, I feel sorry for you, goatee. This bitch is a real pain in the ass, isn't she? See what happens when you start talking? <laughs> That's enough. They didn't know what they were getting into. I'll make sure they leave. You good with that? Who do you think you are, dumbass? They're not walking out of this. You want some too? Damn. Ugh, shit. I saw that shit coming a mile away. Son of a bitch. You just crossed the line. You think you're going home alive now? Should we find out? That was a good answer. That was a good question. No. Maybe not. Bastard. Your name's Aragaki, right? Yeah. Now I remember. Shinjiro Aragaki. You're from Gecko High, too, aren't you? What? Damn it, you're gonna regret this! You see his bell bottoms? Of course he's dangerous. Oh man, Senpai! That was awesome! I remember you. You guys were in Aki's room at the hospital. You idiots. Go home. You don't belong here. Wait! Sorry, but there's something we need to know before we leave. We're really adamant about this whole ghost story. Did Aki tell you to come here? It'll be fine. No, he didn't. <laughs> well, what do you want to know? Is this about that ghost story? Oh, he knows. Oh, oh what the fuck? <laughs> yes, that's right. How'd you know? The rumor's been going around. Those girls who wound up in the hospital were here talking shit every night. They brag about all the stuff they did to some girl named Yamagishi. Oh, so those three are bullies and they come here. Okay. Yamagishi? You mean Fuka Yamagishi from 2E? They were picking on her? Okay, now the story's starting to make sense. That's why people are saying it's Yamagishi's ghost that did it. Yeah, but she's not dead, is she? Yamagishi-san's ghost? Wait, what do you mean by that? You guys don't know? This Yamagishi girl might be dead. Might be? I heard she hasn't been home in over a week. She hasn't been home? I heard she was sick. She hasn't been home? Wait, what? I thought she was just out recovering. Yeah. So, you mean she's still missing? So much for that ghost story. Mr. Akota is the homeroom teacher for 2E, right? 
Does he know about this? It'll be fine. Mr. Okoda is uh, the homeroom teacher for 2E. Mr. Okoda is a bitch, okay? Mr. Okoda don't give two shits about any of the kids except him his own damn ego. He don't care. I get it, Aki. Still trying to make up for the past. Hmm. It's you who can let go. Huh? Nothing. Anyways, it's all I know. We done here? Yeah, totally. Thanks a lot. Alright, dang, he did a did a proper bow right there. Come on. Show some appreciation. <laughs> Come on, guys. Help me be cool around a cool kid. We didn't need your help. Thanks. It'll be fine. I didn't do nothing. Thank you for helping us and for sharing what you know. That was really nice of you. Huh? Oh, uh, sorry. Just don't come here again. Dude, I'm drenched in cold sweat. But man, what Aragaki told us was shocking, huh? Also, Yukari, you should probably apologize to Junpei. Oh! I'll let Kirijo Senpai know what we found out uh, about Yamagishi san. The fact that she's missing is no small matter. Man, we're totally gonna get yelled at uh, for doing this without permission. I can already see it happening. Uh, bro. She should apologize. She did start to instigate shit. Something the matter? She has disappeared. It begins with a ghost story, but it has to develop a series of You have to do something. Told you it wasn't a good idea to go out there, dude. If Aragaki hasn't helped us, who knows what would have happened to us. Uh, I'm getting an ulcer. I said I was sorry. I didn't think it would be that bad. Okay, now sh Well, now you know. Next time you have a little more faith in what I say. Anyway, there's no way in hell I'm ever setting foot in that place again. There you go. I look kind of scary, but he was actually really nice, don't you think? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah she should say sorry. The fuck? Uh, this way? Wait, 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 wait. Let's go, let's go check the video game place, because that's like two points. Two points of academics. Let's see if it's available. What? I need to be smooth. Okay, we're not there yet. Oh, academics. Let's go, baby. It really costs a lot of money to be uh, to be full of knowledge, doesn't it? I think with 3,000, it should be three points and not two. Bop boop. Are you free? Today off? Nope. Nope. I told you I was serious about my academics. I told you all. Once my academics is up to genius and I can hang out with Kitty Joe, we will do everything that you want. Oh shit, my favorite show.
All right. It's amazing. Come on. I don't care what you have to say. Just give me the give me give me the stuff. Give me. The, yep. 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 Perfume. Done. Don't know why I'm buying perfume. I'm a grown ass man. Bang. But. I do want to hang out with her, but I got shit to do. Bro, what if, unironically, this girl that's on this thing is actually hot? Oh, God, this will fuck me up. Come on, focus on me. You, you can't be out here just trying to create a harem. Unless... No, 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 we, we want Kitty Joe. We want Kitty Joe. Yeah, 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 yeah. let's, uh, let's... Where are we, where are we going? <sighs> yeah, let's, let's go. Let's leave. We need to get out. Message from Maya. Let's wreck some demons today. Yeah, let's, 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 let's get academic around here. Healthy brain food? I'm listening. They said healthy brain food. Wait, don't I have to get my charm up, though? I don't know. I feel... I wish I could do so much. And bring up my social links in one day. Let's just go here. It's fine. I know. I know. Just, just get it over with. Fast forward. It's almost there. Up to four, and we need to go. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. Uh. Could you free up your day tomorrow for me? Yes, ma'am. Wait, what is she wearing? Why are the shoulders out? What are you wearing? Are you wearing the freaking the the virgin killer shit? Gee, there's a lot to be done with food. Oh, we're having a meeting. Fuck. If you have an urgent affairs, then I suggest you sell to them by the end of today. You're gonna say that now? When it's like 8 p.m.? What are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you wearing? Somebody turn on the fan. Turn, turn on the fan, please. We need to breathe in here, man. Fucking, fucking need to breathe in here, man. All right, all right, turn it off. All right, all right turn it off. Turn it off. Akihiko is looking fresh. My boy wearing the, the wearing the not looking looking pretty good. Yo, she got bell bottoms on. What year is this? I love this. It was like early 2000s. That was a good year. It was a really good year. Hydrate too. Let me go get some water. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's what I want. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. All right. Should we do some academics? If I remember correctly, you can go to that one ramen, or the, the one place to eat, and do it again. place too. My bad. Sorry. 
So you can pretty much do this twice a day. Is that correct? Because I feel like that that's a... Uh... Yeah, you can go here and spend the night. Oh, seafood full course. Oh, that's the that's the new. They know me as a regular customer. I wonder if it's due to my charm. What? I'm a regular customer. Yo, that's really cool. Yo, that food looks good. Thanks to the Omega. Yo, is that miso soup? Thanks to the Omega 3s and the fish, I feel like my mind is sharper. Ah, uh, come on now. Okay, so after school we need to talk to the, uh, the team. So, we're supposed to gather in front of the faculty uh, office during lunch. Okay. Hmm. To be honest, I don't feel like doing it. But we don't have a choice. And asking Mr. Yakota for an explanation sounds like a total pain in the ass. This is so lame. Especially compared to when we went to that spot behind the station at night. I think this will be a lot easier than what, where we went to. Oh, Hirijo Senpai. Why are you here? Same reason you are. Girl, I love you. You know that? Girl, girl, I want to grab that chin, I swear. Mr. Ikoda, I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. Who's, who's, who's this? Who's this girl that's having brain damage? No! Huh? I never thought it'd turn out this way. Huh? Soka. So dane. Fuka. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, Mr. Ikoda, you can hold for one second. Let's talk to this lady. Hey, I remember you. What did you do to Yamagishi? Oh, dang. Kirijo giving her strong voice. Hold on, Kiri Jokun. This isn't an interrogation. Stop scaring her. Grab my hammer. Moriyama, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. Fuka, she... She always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. Did that give you a high or something? Did that give you power over her or something? when I realized she may be a model student but deep down she's just like us and because of that I knew exactly which buttons to push we were just messing with her earlier that day too just messing just messing we got a missing kid and you you just want to play jokes right now it was May 29th we took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside nice What? You trapped her inside? Yeah, that's not funny. That night, Maki got worried Fuka might commit suicide, so... She went back to the school by herself. But she never came back. And the next morning... She was found lying outside the front gate. I went to the gym to let Fuka out, but the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but she wasn't there. We all freaked out. Parting that night, we went out looking for her. But every night, another one of us wouldn't come back. And then they all ended up like Maki. I see. Uh, Kitty Joe probably has is probably in my mind too. Um, it probably has to do with the dark hour, uh, considering that a whole day has passed. Um, either either she forced herself into the dark hour, or a whole 
night has passed and she went into the dark hour and that's how she vanished um inside that uh that that closet now here's the thing though the reason why i bring up the dark hour is because they already know about yamagishi she's already shown signs that she uh she uh she has the power to you know do you know to wield a persona but she declined but after they bullied her things changed she kind of she's probably in the dark hour right now maybe i'm not sure mr okoda all this time you've been reporting yamagishi is absent due to illness yeah buddy but the truth of the matter is that she was missing you had to have known this explain yourself dang go in kitty joe go in that little that little mean girls look right there that's what i need in my life that's what gives me black i was thinking of the students of course yeah yeah you were thinking of yourself okay all right continue you children may not understand oh. but we have to consider the future of everyone affected oh deflecting well oh, this is yep yep he's defending himself now he's deflecting and blaming everybody so you else. Chose not to report a missing child for the good of the class, and not because you didn't want the police involved. Uh huh. There we go. It it was in her best interest. Your best interest. Okay. All right. Now we know the truth. I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agreed. That's the part that kind of concerns me. This is the this is this is the only thing that he said that was kind of true. So to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. There, yeah, there it is. See, Kitty Joe, me and Kitty Joe on the same wavelength. We are in sync. If me and her had some sort of romance mecha anime with each other, me and her would be on the same sync, and we would operate a huge ass mech. It would be, it would be, it would be awesome. Despicable. Oh, damn. Gave him the despicable thing. Do that to me! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Disp no, I, I... Gundam Bond, yep. I didn't mean, uh, I, I was just... Yo, what's that, uh, what's that thing right there? What's, what's this? What's this thing right here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, did it get hotter in this room? What's happening? What's this? That's enough. You can go now. We'll handle the rest. W wait, but... Dang, dang, dang. Don't worry. This won't be the last you'll hear of this. Oh, damn. Damn, Kitty Joe is literally a, a high school student. And she is making a grown man sweat. Motherfucker, there ain't other any other romance than this one right here. There ain't o any other romance. Now, if there was like obviously somebody around my age that was like this, I would romance that. But this video game is obviously it's a high school, you know, sort of video game. So you, you stick with what you got. <sighs> Dang, he told him. He told him to wait for that ass whooping. She about told. Your friends. She, Did you notice anything unusual about them before they she went She told him to wait for that ass whooping. About your friends. Did you notice anything unusual about them before they went missing? Anything at all? A voice. A creepy voice. They all mentioned it right before they went missing. They said they could hear it. Calling their name. There it is. Oh, man. Senpai, could it be? This is where the ghost stories started to happen. It's them, no doubt about it. Up until now, we've never been able to predict who exactly would become aware during the dark hour. This voice must be the key. In other words, it doesn't just happen randomly. They actually get drawn in. So through emotions, the shadows can actually change the dark hour. 
Yeah, I'm starting to notice that the shadows are definitely emotion based. I realize now, after seeing all of this, they're clearly targeting humans. Yeah, for that reason alone. Shadows are most definitely the enemy of mankind. Yeah. Stay at our dorm tonight. That should be the safest place. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave your room no matter what happens. If you can manage that, you should be fine. Don't worry. Yamagishi should be alright as well. Uka. Mode, what's up? Iori and Takeba too. We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. Tonight? Yeah, we're gonna have to do it tonight. Yes. We are going to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. All right. Uh, let's do it. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. Yeah. Understood. Good. You're all here. That's my wife right there. Just letting you know that's my wife. Tonight, we're infiltrating the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Uh, I don't get it. Are you saying Yamagishi is inside the school somewhere? She's in the dark hour. Yeah, I know how it's kind of strange that we only go to the dark hour during the dark hour, but I think that the dark hour... I, I firmly believe that that one area in the dark hour, or whatever is always there but it's only open and accessible you know via the dark hour and why are we doing this at night at midnight this place turns into exactly exactly that's how yamagishi wandered into tartarus mm -hmm. wait you mean yamagishi san's been over there ever since she got locked in the gym yeah that's right. Yep. But that was 10 days ago. Yeah, the, the, oh, man. Whoever this kid is, is probably going through some shit. No matter how you look at it, she's gotta be. Don't lose hope just yet. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So where does it go for the rest of the day? Yeah, it's only an opening. The dark hour is only the opening. The place? is always is always there ours only appears during the dark hour so where does it go for the rest of the day This is just a theory, but I think time flows differently in Tartarus. So even though it's been 10 days for us, it could have only been 10 hours for her. Still, she, she must be exhausted. There's a chance she's still alive. Wow, you think so? It's only a theory. But wait, isn't the dark hour pretty brutal though? Even for us, how could she last 10 days worth in there? That is true. And even if she is still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Are you just gonna abandon her then? Oh damn, he's in his feelings then. Oh, oh. Oh. I have an idea. Oh. Okay, we'll talk about that later. Let's try to enter Tartarus the same way Yamagishi did. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That'll be the quickest way. Oh, where she was locked up at. Is that really going to work? In all honesty, I can't say I fully agree with this. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus, too. Then why don't you join us? But... I'm not just going to stand here and do nothing. If there's a chance we can save her... Oh, oh, Akihiko is in his feelings feelings today. 
You call yourself protagonist? What happened to your crazy anime hair with the big eyes and the believing in your friends? I thought you had plot armor, but no. You're just an NPC. You're just a you're just a guy that says thank you, hero, and you just dissolve into nothingness. I never forgive myself. If you guys aren't with me, then I'm going in on my own. I like Akihiko. Uh, senpai? Alright. We know it's risky, but we also can't just leave her there. Right. And we won't know until we try. We're sneaking into the school then. <laughs> In that case, I've got just the thing. You do? No answer. No answer? This is a problem. I can't get a hold of the chairman. Well, that's not a big deal, right? We have to get approval to get in? There is one issue. What is it? Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. So, Junpei, what do you got? No need to worry. I've got it all set. All set? An explosive? What the hell, Kitty Joe? All right, I'll let you handle this. God, I love this woman. There's no time to waste. Let's go. An actual explosive? No. Uh, no. Uh, all I did was unlock a door. Yeah, it's it's not that it's not that hard, guys. It's it's <laughs> it's not that hard. See, we got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. <laughs> you you can really tell that. Other than Junpei, n none of the others know an ounce of crime. We got bombs, not questions. <laughs> there really something to brag about here? So you unlocked it earlier. Très bien. <laughs> oui, good job. We should find somewhere to get ourselves ready. Your classroom should work, right? Uh, what? Trey Ben? Is that French or something? You're correct. Why are they talking in different languages anyway? Can we turn on the lights? <laughs> She's scared. Aw, you scared? <laughs> no, I'm not. Stupé. Why you call him stupé? Hey, that's uncalled for. Yeah. Quiet. We need to get started. It's better for us if the lights are off. They cut the power at night anyway. I don't really like sneaking around. Bro, it is it is my thing to sneak around. First, we have to find the key to the gym. It should be in either the faculty office or the janitor's room. Okay. You three check the faculty office. Akihiko and I will take the janitor's room. You three check the faculty office, Akihiko, and I will take the janitor's room. What the fuck are you two going to the janitor's room? The hell? After that, we'll meet in the main hallway on the first floor. Understood? This is some... some... Scooby-Doo... 
Fred going with Velma bullshit. Fine by me. So, we're searching the faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some test questions. Ooh, I like that. Maybe I should go to the faculty office too. It sounds interesting. You're not planning to do something unethical under my supervision, are you? I don't know why they said it out loud too, right in front of Kitty Joe. I suppose you'll need to be executed. Girl, you better execute me right goddamn now. I'm at a good age to die. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on! Obviously, I was choking! <laughs> All I meant by interesting was that there's a higher chance of finding the key there. Enough with the excuses. Let's head to the janitor's room. Iori, you're coming with us. Nice going, Iori. Alright, let's get this over with. I should head to the faculty office. Do you hear something? What? There's someone else here? We gotta hide. You got security? Of course. You are freaking out. Think it's a ghost? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just a little nervous, that's all. I mean, can you blame me? Everyone has something they're afraid of. This is a totally normal reaction. Uh -huh. Well, now that I think about it, that could have just been someone else from our group. So hearing footsteps isn't a big deal. Maybe. All right. All right. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of, right? <laughs> uh, why am I laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> M my phone. Why now? And of course, it's just spam. Of course. I mean, that would freak most people out, right? Come on, the thing just rang out of nowhere. That was kind of cute. Uh, what? That's not funny, you know. It wasn't supposed to be funny. I'm just giving you the truth. Okay. No. No. It's so dark, I can barely read these. I'm surprised none of us brought a flashlight. What does it say on this one? I I honestly don't know. I Um Jim. Really? Let me see. I have uh, honestly. Yeah, this is it. I'm sure they won't mind if we borrow this. Okay, Jim Key. Okay, let's go. We're supposed to meet up with everyone in the main hallway. Okay. Did you find the key? Sure did. You know, I heard a scream that sounded kind of familiar. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Wait, you actually did? I was just kidding. You want to take this outside? Oh, we want to fight? Go ahead, fight. Guys, come on. 
All right, we'll divide into teams again. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour begins, I'll pinpoint Yamagishi's position. Okay. I'm going in. You come too. You can take the lead as usual. I'll be glad to help. Uh, then I'll be the third. Uh, oh, okay. Wait a second, Yukatai. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Oh, I see where he's going with this one. Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. You did screw up. Damn. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. And with that, the teams are set. Sweet. Thanks. Boys will be boys. You're just gonna have to accept it. What's wrong, Takeba? Do you have a problem staying with Mitsuru? Uh, no, no. it's fine. Uh huh. Yep, sure. It's almost time. Let's go. I... That's right. I... Guess I'm alone after all. Luca. Uh-oh. No. No, I don't want to hear this! Calling me. I... I have to go to school. Tell her I'm sorry. Fuka. Well, that's gonna be an issue. Oh, and here we go. Oh, and here we go. We still haven't heard back from them. The transmission range is at max, too. She's so duty-focused. All right, let's see what's up. Uh, I hope that girl Moriyama is okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour. But we couldn't risk bringing her here. And having one of us stay behind to watch her wasn't an option either. Damn. Yeah, I guess so. What's up? Well, we are all here for Yamagishi-san's sake. I'm here. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? I don't know. That's not right. Oh, we're breaking out. Akihiko. Come in, Akihiko. Uh, is he out of range? That's worrying. Oh, what the hell? Why am I on the ground? We got separated. Must have lost consciousness? How did that happen? That doesn't happen at all. Are you awake? Yes. This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. Yes. Why are you here? I told you, remember? I'm always with you. Uh, you're gonna get me in trouble with the law, but okay. But we don't have much time to talk. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. Who? You guys will need her. See you. I hope we meet again. Are you alright? 
Am I gonna solo dolo? Yes, I am. I'll go with. Mm, doo -doo -doo -doo. Damn. All right. Easy. Huh? What's your current location? Reply immediately. 